The new Foyle College opened its doors to pupils today and first impressions were favourable. Well obviously it's a lot bigger and there's better facilities using the school. You can see by the amount of money invested in the school. I just think things like the hub and the new canteen and the pitches that we didn't really have before at the old school. I think it's really good for us. Lunes Ocho de Enero. The Spanish students were learning about Barcelona in the most modern of classrooms. And in the canteen, there's no need for the traditional dinner money. We, we have been standing still in terms of technology for the last 15 years. So we have jumped from the technology of the 1990s um, definitely into the technology of the 2020s uh, when it comes to learning and teaching. The school's been located on the mainly nationalist West Bank for 400 years and was once known as Foyle and Londonderry College. It's evolved from being a mostly Protestant grammar school to one with 30 different faiths. One former teacher doesn't believe the move across the River Foyle to the waterside reflects a polarisation in the city. I, I hope not. I don't think so because I think there is more of a free movement again across the, the river. So I really hope it doesn't. Foyle College has had famous past pupils, including actress Amanda Burton and the winner of The Apprentice, Dr Leah Totten. The students of 2018 certainly believe they now have the perfect environment to follow in their footsteps. Around £25 million has been invested in this new Foyle College. And after educating young people for this past 400 years, the school says it's now well equipped to meet the challenges in the years ahead. Kieran Turish, BBC Newsline, Derry.